The old air conditioner has been removed and it collected the refrigerant gas and we have to reinstall the new one. पीछे पीछे है लाल We just mounted the outdoor unit on the bracket and we're running the wiring now to come into the other side. Hard to see from this side, but it's going well. Now we're installing the trim kit. We've brought the line set and cables out through the wall the back plate on and we're getting ready to do the final connections. This is the vibration isolation installed. It starts with the nut under here, rubber washer, steel washer, and it goes through a plastic sleeve and then comes up through the isolator. to another steel washer, rubber washer, and captive nut that is just past finger tight. So I've done this on all four mounts. We can find that one, there it is. There's one here. The rubber sleeve that goes over the boat to protect it from touching the sides of this top piece and the bottom piece. This is the installation of the refrigerant lines and the wiring. So that's the line set going out and this is the control wire to the interface coming in. And we're just mounting it under the ceiling and it's going to feed into the control panel here. We'll come into the left side and the other wiring comes into the right side. This is the new A-frame coil as they call it, so it gives heating in the winter and cooling in the summer. Connected to the line set. This is the vacuum this test on oh, Ninja. Oh. 
All right, we're uh, charging the system by releasing the refrigerant in the unit into the, the large refrigerant line. As we mentioned before, we added a bit of refrigerant because of the length of the line set being a little over 25 feet. So we've now mounted the interface panel and we're running the wires. We brought the power in from outdoor and these are the furnace and thermostat wires that follow along the ceiling to the furnace. Yeah. So we've run the wires, still have to make the final connections here. And this is the revised uh, clamping for the incoming 14.3. This is the final installation. We have the coil inside the duct above the furnace and the refrigerant lines running towards the outside heat pump, provide a saddle so that the uh, insulation does not get crushed. Furnace is now on. No, I think so. So we have the blower motor running now and we're now going to power up the outside unit. You want the homeowner to do the... Oh, no. And you know, be ready if it trips back on you. Okay. Great. It didn't, so we can have a good shot then. I heard a click from here. And again. Okay. Since I've done this, you're looking for equipment in town. Okay. Uh, so installation settings. These oh, are the okay. furnace two stage. Does it allow us to have a type? It just says how to control. So. Hmm. This is different than the last one I, I did. And see, based on this wiring, yeah, that's it just correct. goes with two stage furnace and one stage yeah, That's correct. My thermostat. Okay, so what happens now is that it comes on when you call. That was weird <laughs> exit. Yeah. Should have said okay. Okay, how do we exit out here now? Not yet, I mean, I mean. Okay. We're good.
So you are setting to high. You want to heat? Hold for two hours, that sounds good. Okay, so what's happening is, is that this will now control the fan to bring it on for first stage heating. Otherwise, it would want the furnace to do that. Okay. So that's what the electric heat setting on thermostats is for, is to activate the fan on start of a heat cycle, which you need for the heat pump. So is, that, is that supposed to be a snowflake? So it is yeah. also waiting cool. now, like uh, because we had the cooling mode. So it yeah, has it, some it's going to go back here, so it will be a three or four minute timeout, whatever it's set to. No, I mean, like the interface also recognized that it was on the cooling mode and shifted to heating. This is the uh, idea running now without the neighbors, so you can hear it fairly quiet. Talking to normal voice. Oh, this just came on. Oh well. See that this distance, the neighbors is noisier than ours. All right, it was cooled down to 23. I'm setting it to go to 25.5 for two hours. So there'll be a three or four minute. Delay time is six minutes after three. And the blower just came on. So we'll see what's happening outside. It is a quarter after. It's been almost 10 minutes. Now the blower is running. I feel heat. <laughs> where to see the burners. Yeah, these are all warm. Looks like it's running on secondary heat. Yeah, it's timing out. I'll turn it off again.